Yeah, we know this, but time will only tell if we'll blow or we'll blow this. Time will only tell if we the next to blow. That's why the hands in the air, every city, every show. The next big thing? Yeah, we know this, why but time will only tell if we'll blow or we'll blow this. This is Chris from MikeControl.com. Today we're here with one half of Eddie B and Tim Gunter. What's up, Tim? What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? I'm doing very well. Thanks for uh, stopping by. We're here at Treehouse Recording Studios. If you couldn't tell by the uh, treehouse in the background. Um, so yeah, what, what what's going on, man? What are you what are you doing up in New York? Because you're originally from North Carolina, right? Yeah. Um, we're up here uh, doing some some meetings um, with uh, agencies and stuff, trying to figure out. Uh, you know, shows and, and, and possibly getting tacked on some tours for the fall, and um, just pretty much you know networking. Um, we met up with some some guys that we know from Barstool, had some lunch, um, just getting out there. It's actually my first time in the city, so it's a lot of fun too. We've just been kind of touring around, just kicking it. Very cool. You having a good time up here? Yeah, absolutely. Great place. Uh, I've only like the only other city I've really been to is Chicago, and I don't know. It's kind of up there. I like it. I like it. It's a little, little bit busier in New York City than Chicago. A little bigger. A little bigger. <laughs> um, so let's let's get right into it. What uh, what are you guys working on right now? Because I know you guys dropped your last mixtape back in the fall. So what 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 are you guys up to right now? Uh, right now we're actually um, working on a little summer EP that we're gonna drop at the end of June. Uh, probably around five to seven tracks, and uh, we actually push back. Um, our major project to uh, the fall again. It's going to be called Insomniac Dreams, and it's just all about uh, not being able to sleep when you want to do something like this. I mean, we've got school, um, which is you know a course load in itself, and then just trying to do this every second that we're awake when we're not doing schoolwork. So that's where the the title of that came through. But uh, pretty much right now, we're focused on this little summer EP for the end of June. Very cool. And so that's dropping at the end of June. Do you have a name for the project yet, or? No, we we haven't really haven't thought about that. We might just call it like summer EP or something, uh, maybe something simple like that. Um, and so so Eddie is over. You were saying he's over in Germany. He's over in Germany, yeah. Um, his mother is a teacher in the military, so he grew up in, in crazy place. Like he went to middle school in Japan and high school in Germany. So he splits time between the U.S. and, and Germany. So he's over there visiting moms right now, just kicking it. Yeah. And so, so Eddie does the uh, rapping, and you're on the production side of things. How do you guys like work together as a team? Because that's usually like a pretty good combo when you have uh, a group that's like the producer and the rapper, because you can kind of vibe together and like come up with more of like almost a concept behind a song. So like, how how do you guys kind of meet each other, and like how has you know how has it worked out having like the producer rapper combo? Um, well, the funny story about meeting each other is it was actually online. And well, e I'm just kidding. But um, nah, I was uh, I used to intern for Ninth Wonder. He's a pretty big producer in, in North Carolina, and Eddie was real interested in being signed with him. And um, I was making beats for a kid named Tom Hardy. Shout out to Tom Hardy if you're watching this. But um, uh, Eddie was talking to Tom about uh, getting signed at Ninth, and, and I just kind of saw their conversation via Twitter. So kind of put my foot in there and was like, Yo, like Eddie, you want some beats? And he was like, yeah. And um, the thing was, when I I've been making beats for maybe a year or so at that time. That was uh, 2009, I guess. Yeah. Um, the thing about most stuff is like it would take forever. Like send an artist a beat. Like four months later, you get back. Like you know, we're, I haven't had a chance to go to the studio. So I sent this kid um, a beat, and he got back to me in like two days. I mean, he recorded in his dorm room, and it didn't sound that great. But still, it was just like the turnover was sick. And then we found out that we're only about an hour apart. We both are in school in North Carolina. We're only about an hour apart, so I was like, "Yo, I'll, you know, I'll drive out to Greensboro. That's where he's in school, um, which is about an hour, like I said." And then we just met up and started kicking it, and we just you know, like the chemistry was awesome. You know, we had a good time, and we could just sit there and bang out tracks like all day. Um, and then we kind of built a friendship through that, which I think was great because, it, you know, we were, friendship wasn't getting in the way. At first, it was strictly business, and then we built our friendship around the business. So now that like. You know, we've gotten our fair share of arguments, but like it's a lot easier to, to come to like a one decisive point. And our eyes are always on the prize, so you know it's a lot easier to um, to uh, get things done. And it's it's actually worked out great. I stay on my grind and bet that I'm gonna shine because I got nowhere to go. So, do you guys? So you're like an hour apart. Do you guys usually work together? Is there a lot of kind of like working like over the phone or over the internet or like how how does that end up working? Uh, well, usually since we're in school, you know, an hour apart. Every weekend we're together. Every single weekend. Um, but during the week, I'll usually uh, try and make a few beats and I'll send it to him, and he'll have 
at least the concept or maybe even the entire um, song written so then on Saturday and Sunday when we get uh, to actually record we can actually knock stuff out and um, you know we when he, now that he's in Germany like we're actually doing this entire that's a, that's a cool concept too the entire summer EP is going to be via email like he's recording in Germany sending me the vocals and getting mixed here um, so we've actually learned how to do that pretty well too because uh, he goes back for Christmas as well and, and we put out uh, Jingle Bell Rap and that was actually mail uh, those vocals were, were emailed and, and mixed um, in different places but most of the time we, we try and get work done together because it's a lot easier you know the, it's a lot easier to build a song when you're actually physically there as opposed to like, hey, I liked your hook, but blah, blah, like, I mean, it's like, it's like AM in like middle school, you know, you can't do it over email as well, but man, we make it work. Um, so you've been getting a pretty decent amount of blog love lately, um, and I know you guys were, you, you did a show for Sunset in the rear view, like, how has the, I guess, like the music blog, you know, kind of explosion, how popular it is now, how has that kind of helped you guys to build the name for yourself and kind of build a fan base? Um, the blogs, I mean, that's something that's just absolutely, I mean, I, I, I credit them to, to anything that we are now as, as far as exposure. Um, you know, Lydia at Sunset in the Rearview, uh, you know, helped us out um, with, that, with that show, and we got to meet Hoodie, and we got in with them, and um, good music all day. They've, they've helped us, the collection, Fresh on Campus, pretty much, like, this whole young movement of, of college bloggers, um, you know, getting with college artists, and then just kind of everyone working together to push this young music movement and it's just awesome because it's just like uh it's all like your peers like the listeners are your peers and like um the bloggers are all like we're all you know like pretty much college kids that are like starting this whole movement that that now that like even labels are like wow look at this like whole market of their i mean it's like it's like a all in-house thing like college bloggers college listeners college artists so yeah. i mean it, it's it's crazy it, and i feel like a lot of kids that that you know find out about us via these blogs, they're they're more interested because we are their age. We're not like, um, you know, way older than them and stuff like that. They're like, wow, this kid, you know, goes to school Monday through Friday and then either flies out and does a show or, or is in in the studio recording, and that, that's cool. Like people want to be a part of that, and like that helps a lot with the blogs. Yeah. It gives that like real relatable aspect yeah. to it because you're, you know, it's not someone that's like rapping about something that they know nothing about and being like oh this sounds good they're like oh well i'm living that same kind of life and like i can understand where they're coming from um on the topic of the show you guys did for sunset in the rear view what um i know young prince ended up coming out and you guys you guys have the song with young prince are there any other collabs that you guys have in mind whether it's for the e the, the summer ep or you know, for the the bigger projects in the future, like, are you are you working with other artists, or is it mostly you and? Um, yeah, we, we've started to collab a lot. Uh, first of all, we love Young Prince. I mean, we love what he's doing, and and us three, we just click. Uh, we actually you know, recorded that song in his uh, apartment at Guilford, um, the time will only tell. And we just had a blast hanging out, and um, so we're definitely doing more with Young Prince. Um, we, uh, we recently, we're about to drop a track uh, next week that we did with That Kid CG, which is Chitty Bang's uh, good friend. Um, so we've been working with him just to try and get in the Philly area. We have uh, we did Stool of Palooza with OCD, and so we've been you know back and forth with them trying to get some work done. But um, yeah, that's another thing too, just the whole working together with other artists uh, to, to, to network in the different markets that you have. Cause for us, I mean, down in the South, there's really not much much going on. I mean, there's not many other artists that I can think of in North Carolina that at least take this market, and it's, so it's kind of cool for us to, to reach up north and, and, you know, try and get our name out up there a little more because, uh, you know, we're not really there. We're actually, you know, because, like, a lot of this music stuff happens, like, all up in the Northeast, and, and we're down in North Carolina, and everyone's like, where's that, you know? So, but you know, it helps a lot to collab. They to let the gang get the best of them, best of them. So, so I stay on my grind and bet that I'm gonna shine Because I got nowhere to go but uh Let's talk about kind of your, you said that you started making beats in like 2009-ish. Um, what kind of, what inspired you? What artists and like what kind of musical influences have, have you had that have, you know, made you A, wanted to start making beats and also like what kind of influences have kind of shaped your music and the, the production aspect? Yeah. Um, well, my dad was in a band for a long time. 
um, even as when uh, I have two older sisters and even when they were, were real young he was still doing acts um, we're from Maryland so out there and so ever since I was you know a kid there was always instruments in my house um, like we had keyboards guitars and then for my like ninth or tenth birthday my parents got me a drum set and that was probably their worst mistake because I was never ever ever coming down from that uh, the, the room that I was in and it was like 3 a.m. they're like shut up Tim go to bed you're gonna wake up the neighbors um, and that's when I just became obsessed with like beats and I was like I love the beats of songs so like I really started looking into um, computer music you know and, and, and production um, and then I didn't really get serious until like about my senior year of high school um, when my parents they got like a brand new iMac and uh, like it had GarageBand on it so then I literally would spend like um, I'd come home from, from being out with my friends like 2 a.m. and I'd be on that computer till like 8.30 in the morning just just trying to figure out how to use GarageBand and make beats. Um, as far as my influences, like uh, that's another thing that, that I think that gives me the, uh, my, my pretty unique sound is like, you know, I grew up listening to classic rock and, and indie stuff from my parents and then I got into hip hop through beats and then uh, just through the computer thing, I, you know, the electronica influence and and all that stuff. So I just, I, I mean, I literally listen to everything. I know people say it all the time, like, oh, I like everything. But I, I mean, I'll listen to anything from like Mumford and Sons to like the Crookers in the same day, like back to back. I mean, that doesn't really mix, but I like to get a vast array of all the sounds and then I kind of like fuse that into one ball of awesomeness while I'm making beats. But I think that's a pretty good description right there, just one ball of awesomeness. That's what the music comes out as. Um, and so, all right, so back to on top of like the summer EP and all that, what else do you guys have planned for the summer now that you guys have like, uh, you know, a little time off school and whatnot? Do you have any big plans in terms, do you have shows coming up or like what, what, what's going on with you guys? Um, like that's, that's also a reason we were up here is to um, figure out some stuff for shows. But uh, I mean, pretty much right now what we're trying to do is just build, <laughs> just build a, um, uh, an archive of music, you know, um, and just work as, as hard as we can on, first of all, developing like a, a, a unique sound for us and um, just just getting better at what we do. I mean, the, the growth that you, you you can physically see the growth from Dear North Carolina, Welcome Back to as as recently as the track with, with Young Prince or, or Nowhere to Go or, or any of our other recent songs. And like that's just what we've been doing now is like Eddie, I know he's like every day just right filling notebooks with, with, with rhymes and and I'm, you know, uh, I've been, I've recently uh, taken on Pandora, um, not not so much to find music, but just a sample. I mean, it's just like it's like it like digs for you. Um, so I've been I've been just making you know as many beats as possible, even if it's a four bar loop, and just trying to get better at what I do. Um, because I, you know, the time that we're apart, it's kind of harder to to actually build concepts, but we can actually strengthen on what we each do, and then when we come back together. Um, you know, collectively make ourselves better. And um, as far as shows, you know, it's kind of slower in the summer because we're really focused on the college market and, and school, you know, school builds our, our market pretty much. But I mean, um, you know, we're trying to get some stuff lined up for the end of summer. And as far as we're really starting to get back into it once school starts. Very cool, very cool. So this is kind of like almost the, the plan of the off season where yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. can kind of like you know start perfecting some of the music you want to put out and you know build up the demand for more shows and whatnot exactly. Exactly. That's a great um all right awesome man well before we uh sign off why don't you just give a quick shout out where people can find you guys what's the facebook twitter all that yeah you can uh find us at facebook.com backslash eddie b tim gunter e-d-d-y-b-t-i-m-g-u-n-t-e-r um, twitter.com backslash TL Gunter, that's mine. His is twitter.com backslash Eddie BNC. Um, Google is a great way to find us. Uh, I love that site. Um, just Google uh, Tim Gunter, and Eddie B always pops up next to it. So, um, other than that, do we have any other pages? Do we have any other pages? I'm kind of throwing it back. I, we have like reverb nation, all that stuff. It's just, it'll come up on Google. Google. All right. You, you can find them on Google. Google's the site. Google. Google's the site. <laughs> you got the I said, I need to get t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> That'll make it so much easier, man. Well, listen, it was awesome sitting down with you. And uh, when Eddie gets back, we'll have to do another interview yeah. together. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the summer EP. And, you know, keep grinding, man. I appreciate it. All right, awesome. Yeah. 
5k when I show up, they be like grow up But it's too fun doing shows, getting toe up Grind so hard, I got my two toe up Think we finna blow up, so them drinks pulled up We just celebrating how them haters say they know us Used to be zero, something like a donut But now it's so easy, life's so breezy Cause like an elevator, I pushed and got my flow up